I'm Upinina Kandala. I'm a PhD student in Coffee, University of Queensland, and I'm in my second year of my PhD. So I'm, my PhD project is about citrus genomics. Uh, we are studying about the structure and the function of the genes of Australian wild citrus uh, and some other commercial citrus species and try to understand how these species specific important genes are useful to the global citrus industry. So this is one of the native citrus species. It's commonly known as round lime. It has some important genes uh, which confer the resistance to one of the most threatening diseases around the world, HIV disease. Clearly we have like, uh, identified some important genes which might be potentially involved in this disease resistance, especially for greening disease and some other diseases as well, for cancer uh, and some CTV viruses as well. Therefore, by identifying these genes, we can integrate uh, these important genes for the other cultivated varieties uh, by genetic engineering methods, because we all know that traditional breeding methods are not very efficient. Therefore, uh, we can actually apply this genomic genetic engineering methods to the cultivated varieties to get a more productivity and also to get better quality traits, fruits. In USA, California and Florida, Florida industries has like um, seriously affected by these diseases, by this disease, especially citrus breeding disease. It, it can actually uh, limit the production as well as uh, it can negatively affect the citrus growers as well. Uh, so in both directions, uh, we need to find a solution to this disease. Hello, I'm Robert Henry from Coffee at the University of Queensland. Sequencing the genomes of plants, particularly uh, these horticultural tree crops, is going to give us a new platform for their genetic improvement and better management of their production into the future. I think we've got the right technology at the right time, we managed to put ourselves at the cutting edge of that technology, but also we have the, the climate and the crops here uh, that really haven't been uh, uh, studied before. The technology just hasn't been applied to these uh, species and we're in a unique position to be able to do that uh, first. Well, what comes next really is, is using this knowledge and translating it into outcomes. And that, that involves understanding how the, the DNA sequence information that we get relates to the characteristics that are important to consumers and that are important also to the producers of these uh, commodities. So this is Citrus Garraway. It's a, it's a a native citrus from northern Queensland, uh, one of uh, six species that are found uh, in Australia and we're characterising all of them because they represent such important sources of disease resistance for the citrus industries of the world.